All right, let's dumb, or let's uh, dive into this last topic of the day here. And that would be that Desmond Howard believes that Nebraska should apologize to the Big Ten and that the Big Ten should kick Nebraska out of the conference. Now, here is the quote. He said, I would demand a public apology from Nebraska. If I'm Kevin Warren, right now I'm working on a way to get their ass out of the Big Ten, Howard said on Get Up this morning. He said, they're not Notre Dame, baby. They don't have that cachet. What in the world is Desmond Howard thinking here? So this is, this is my problem with everything. It, we, we just had a fight. Nebraska and the Big Ten just had a fight, okay? Yeah. You don't blow up that relationship. You don't set that contract on fire. You don't just kick them out. You work through problems. While we enjoy it's okay clowning. to disagree with something when you're going through yes. a major stressful situation. Let's all walk away. Let's all cool down. And in a couple of months, we'll come back and we'll talk. We enjoy clowning on Nebraska. Yes, like that's, I the like past making few fun years, of Nebraska a lot. It's, it's been fun because of the hype around the team and, yes. and what the realistic expectations should be, right? I normally don't like punching down. I punch down at Nebraska because everybody else seems to want to puff them up so badly. Now, here's the thing, though. That doesn't mean that we hate Nebraska nope. or that we dislike their fans. As a matter no. of fact, I think it's fantastic how much their fans buy into what they do. Holy Nebraska, cow, it's amazing. Nebraska is so much more like an SEC program than a Big Ten program that it's ridiculous. It, but, but here's the thing. None of that, none of that matters. None okay. of that matters. You can't just, we had a fight. We had a major disagreement about something. All of the schools had a major disagreement about this thing. But you're not kicking them all out, Desmond. Yeah. Like, like, Jim he didn't Harbaugh say anything about a letter State. about you know Jim Harbaugh was the first Big Ten coach to openly kind of go against what was his, his school said, yeah. president, and, and nobody wanted to kick you guys out. We're we're having a fight. We're having a conflict. We're going through a real stressful situation, and and people are heated and people are saying things, and these things can't be held against you forever. This is this is stupid. This is childish. But this is what we do in our country now. I disagree with you. We we're having a fight, so we can never talk again. Screw you! I'm burning this bridge to the ground. That's all we do. Nobody works with them one another. No one wants to say. In a couple of months, let's come back and have a beer and let's figure this thing out. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. It it cracks me up because Desmond Howard brings up they're not Notre Dame. They don't have that cachet. And yet, Nebraska has won three national championships since Notre Dame's last one. Like it, and not that any of them are significantly like recent. Yeah. But, but it's not about the national. But it's not about any of that. It's you know, Nebraska still has cachet. They 100 percent do. Like it, it, just putting it out there. Uh, Matt Miller, by the way, jumps in said Nebraska never belonged in the Big Ten. Anyways, come home, baby, back to where you belong in the Big Twelve. <laughs> I love it. I love it. If they went back to the Big 12, it would be a tail between the legs situation. I just don't see that happening. They don't need to. They no. need to work this shit out. We need to learn to resolve conflict in our world. Yes, 100%. This, this is all I want is people to be reasonable and people to understand that it's okay for you and me to disagree. It's even okay for us to get into a fight about it. It's okay for both of us to show our ass and act like morons. Yes. It's okay. And then to, to, to sit back, go to bed, think about it, and say, man, God, I sounded like an idiot. All right. At some <laughs> point in time, one of us is going to be humble enough to talk to the other one and work this shit out. You can't just burn every bridge because you had a fight. Yeah. Because you're, you had a You're disagree. 100% right. Um, Mark One said, how can, it be, uh, how can it be people down on Notre Dame for being independent than all these teams trying to play, but that's okay? I don't understand. No, yeah, exactly all these. Te- I get what he's saying. Okay, all these teams have clowned on Notre Dame. You're gonna need a conference one day. You're gonna need a conference one day. And right now, Ohio State, Michigan, Nebraska, all these schools, all wishing Nebraska, they were independent. Iowa, yeah. they're all kind of wishing they was independent right now. You got that right. Darren McArdle jumped back in. He said Nebraska and Miami uh, used to be rivals in a top one, and both have bombed out. Yeah, 100 percent right. I it's mean, not the 90s anymore, guys. Yeah, you got that right. Things are a-changing in the college we football world. We test for world. cocaine now, and Miami just went, 
down the drain. Matt Miller. And, uh, Nebraska, <laughs> uh, for, we just don't play football the way we used to, yeah. where you just line up six offensive linemen and push people around and run off guard left and off guard right over and over and over again. By guy. I mean, they're in the Big Ten anyway. They play Wisconsin every year. I would love if they would just go back to the triple option. I mean, I, th- I think they'd be better suited for it. I think it'd be great. Um, Matt Miller said the bus need to come home, too. They don't belong in the Pac-12. Yeah, I understand where you're coming from. I understand. And Susan A. jumps in. I think this is a, a first time. Said, would it take a vaccine? How would the uh, how could the big... Uh, excuse me, I cannot talk. How could the Big Ten and Pac-12 sit at home? I have such a hard time believing that they'll just sit out while the other three play. Um, I would imagine, more than likely, the odds are that nobody will be playing football this fall because of lawyers I would imagine that that's what's going to happen but I can 100% see if things go through if they get enough legal help and they believe that they can get through a season without actually dealing with any of these legal ramifications then absolutely the Big Ten and the Pac-12 would sit out the season and the SEC the ACC and the Big 12 would play football because it matters more to those school presidents those school presidents in those conferences get it on a different level than the ones in the Pac-12 in the Big Ten do. Well, the people that are donating do. money actually care about this stuff. Yes. Yeah, period. Uh, Joseph said Chris just gave out half of Nebraska's playbook. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that's uh, what it used to be when they were yeah. good, and you oh, could yeah. play football that way. We hadn't played football that way in a long time. You got that right. Which is I mean, why, we're 20 years removed from playing football that way. Which is why triple option teams and whatnot, these wing T teams that pop up every now and then. Oh, there's, give people there's no doubt. Willie Fritz needs to be the next call that Nebraska makes. Oh, 100%. Oh, God, Just bring somebody so up there that is so open-minded about offense and 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 can figure – just give me the players you got and I'll figure something out. If yeah. I got to run a power spread, we'll run a power spread. If I got to run a power eye, we can run a power eye. If we got a you know, triple option, we'll run a triple eye. He don't care. He don't give a damn. Yep. Uh, Matt Miller said the third play in the 90s playbook is Tommy Armstrong. Do what you got to do. Yep. Do what you got to do. Do what it. you got to do. do. Yeah, just give it to him, and he'll do something special. Uh, Damien closes us out here. He said, uh, uh, oh, Susan A. said, Ohio State does not have a school president. Uh, they've got a board, and I know they do. So, But either way, they, they, they voted, and they voted to not play. So you can tell me all day about how much Ohio State cares about football and whatnot. So we've got a lot of academic people that have never had a real job. Pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, Damien is going to close us out. This will be the last comment that I read here. Uh, he said, I bet, uh, I bet Desmond is one of those dummies that thinks that the earth is flat. I mean, it is possible. Um, it's not Tommy Armstrong, by the way. It's Tommy Frazier. <laughs> Tommy Whatever. Frazier. Do what you got to do, Tommy Frazier. All right, you guys have been absolutely fantastic. Thank you for giving us another hour of your day. We do appreciate everybody that jumps into the chat every single day. You guys help drive the conversation. We appreciate all of you. Mark One closes us. He said, uh, Irish ACC champs for Chris. Yeah. Hey, it'd be a lot of fun to watch. Oh, that's all I wanted to see. That's all. One one miracle game against Clemson. Don't care about the first game. You care about the second game. You got that right. You got that right. One miracle game against Clemson. Let Notre Dame join a conference. Let Notre Dame win the conference. It would just warm my heart. If we do end up having college football, you can find us over at sbrpicks.com. That is sportsbookreview.com. On their website, on their YouTube channel, all of our college football content for the year, our picks, our previews, uh, the news and notes and all that kind of stuff, uh, recapping every week, etc. the opening lines, close, whatever. sbrpicks.com is where you're going to be able to find it. Go over to the website, check it out. We've got several videos up already discussing the best coaches and the best teams against the spread in different scenarios. We've got a new video that just went up last night. Go over there, check it out, sbrpicks.com. We would definitely appreciate that. Or you can check out our Twitter pages. We've got it posted over there as well. Um, WinningCuresEverything.com is our website. Make sure you go over there. You can find everything you need to know about us. If you have not already, hit the like button on the video and make sure that you share it out with your buddies if you liked what you saw today. Also, just make sure you're subscribed. That way you get notified whenever we go live. You can jump in here. We appreciate the conversation. We hope everybody continues to jump in throughout the rest of the fall season, regardless of what the hell else is going on. So we're, we're going to be here talking about something. Some days we talk about fast food. Some days we talk about best chicken, best, you know, whatever. We'll figure out something to talk about, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully you will stick around. You guys have been great. Chris, appreciate your time today, brother. And uh, you guys take care of yourself. 
Take care of each other. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.